Trying to place your subject in a different environment or remove something that you didn't want in a shot? Well, most people use a green screen or a mask to get that done, but I'm going to show you a simple way to get it done using the PowerDirector AI Background Removal Tool. I'm going to show you two types of clips that you should use to get the best results from the AI Background Removal Tool. The first type of clip is a clip with a solid background. It can be any color you want because having a solid background makes it easier to remove it. If you're using the default settings in PowerDirector, your background footage needs to be on track one, just like you see here. You'll start off by placing the footage you want to remove the background from in a lower track. So we'll go up here, we'll select a clip, we'll hold on our left mouse button, and we'll drag it down to track two below our background footage. Now, you wanna make sure that this clip is selected, and then you wanna click on edit, You want to go over to background and select background. And then if it's not selected, you want to select background remover. Here you want to check the box next to AI background remover. Now there are some settings here that we could talk through. You've got your edge thickness. You can use a slider to change that. And then you have your edge feather. So if you want the edge to be more feathered or sharper, you can use that. So let's play this to see what it looks like. I really like how that looks. And if you like this tutorial, like this video, subscribe to Power Director University and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. The second type of clip you should use with the AI background removal tool is a clip without a lot of movement. Now the background doesn't need to be solid, but it would still help. So here we're going to close this out. And now we'll go to our next clip. We want to use this clip of this gentleman speaking. I'm going to left click my mouse, hold down my left mouse button and drag him down to track two where I want him to be. I'll move my playhead here so you can see the footage. And you can see that it's not a solid background, uh, but he's not going to be moving a lot in this clip. What I'll do is I'll place my cursor here until I see brackets so that I can go ahead and trim this down. Now the clip is selected. You want to click on edit. And since we were on background last time, it's already there. I'm going to click on AI background remover. I'll place my cursor here and we'll play this back. Looks pretty damn good, don't it? Now you can use the AI background removal tool to make cool effects like this. Don't forget to subscribe for more Power Director love. See you next time.